Hello everyone and welcome to Discovering in Color, the channel that's designed to show you just how easy it is to have fun in the outdoors. Hey, today I wanted to talk about knives, okay? And I also want to point out, stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to announce what my next uh, section hike is going to be. All right, so let's talk about knives. Why do you need a knife in the woods while you're out camping or whatever? Mainly, it's just going to be another tool that you take with you to perform any specific task that you wanted to do. So let's talk about what you don't want to bring out when you're out either camping or backpacking or something like that. And that's, you don't want to bring this or you don't want to bring something like this right here. These have absolutely no purpose going with you when you're outside camping in the outdoors. Um, you know, unless you're going to take on a wild boar or, or think a bear is going to attack you, which is few and far between, these are going to be pretty much useless. And if you get that close to that creature, um, you're going to need a little bit more than this. So just scratch these off. You don't need these. Now let's talk about what an appropriate knife to bring in the outdoors is. And I have right here, I've got four of my favorites that I like to take. And these pretty much for if you're doing camping or backpacking, these will be what you need right here. So the first one I'm gonna start with is, is one of the rel relatively simple ones right here. This is just a single lock blade knife. It's a Gerber knife. And as you can see, it's got a very short blade on it. It's got a lock on the inside so that it won't inadvertently close on you when you're doing something. And it's just a very simple knife. So, and I use this for, um, if I've got to cut rope or um, you, you just kind of name it, if I've got to you know, chip some wood or something like that, this works pretty much for anything that I can do. And this is a great go-to knife for whatever you might need. So this is a, probably a very good choice to take. Small, compact, doesn't weigh a lot, just a gripper blade. So that's number one. Second choice are, I have uh, three different types of Swiss Army knives right here. I really like these because these are pretty versatile right here. Um, this one right here has the most uh, little things on it. It's got, I mean, it's got, obviously it's got a blade that you can use. Now this is not a lock blade. So, you know, if you're not careful, you could accidentally close it on yourself if you've got your finger in here. Um, but it's got a couple different sizes of blades. It's got a screwdriver. It's got a corkscrew in case you've got to open up some wine out there. I don't know. Um, uh, pretty much it's got most of what you need. One of the nice things it has that I really like are these scissors. You'd be amazed out there where a pair of scissors, even though they're very small, really comes in handy out in the outdoors. Um, so that's probably one of the, other than the knife itself, one of the things I like about this one here. So this is my largest one right here. The next size I have here, this one's a little bit smaller. Uh, this one right here I've had for a very, very long time, probably 35 or so years. And this one is simple. It's got uh, the two different blades on it. Right here, it's got a screwdriver, it's got a can opener, it's got a Phillips head screwdriver, it's got a little poker thing. But uh, this is my second choice that I'll go to if I'm taking a um, Swiss Army knife. Also like the other one, it does have a pair of tweezers up here and a toothpick. So you can actually you know, pick your teeth if you need to for some reason or whatever, but it's got these nice little tweezers and these are almost good enough to take out a tick, but not really what you should use. But choice number two, Swiss Army knife. Choice number three is this little itty bitty Swiss Army knife right here. Um, this is more of a day pack type thing here. I wouldn't go backpacking with it. It does have the coveted scissors built in and it's got two, well, excuse me, it's got one little itty bitty blade and it's got a little screwdriver nail file type thing. So this one is not very useful if you need to do pretty much anything um, other than you know, maybe poke something. So it's, it's, not a, it's not a very versatile one. It does have the toothpick and it does have the tweezers on it. So when you're out, you know, this, eh, it's okay. It's fun, you know, take it with you on a day hike only, not on anything overnight, but uh, it's just something if you need to trim something or, or, or something like that. So this right here, these are the four selections of knives that I like to take with me. So like I said, very short video today and stay tuned because now I'm gonna show you where I'm going next. So hold on. So you've waited long enough and now I'm gonna tell you. So next month in May, gonna ooh, try it again. <laughs> All right, you've waited and here's the answer. This is where I'm going next month in May to hike. I'm heading out to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park 
And what I'm going to do there, I'm going to do the entire 70 miles of Appalachian Trail from Fontana Dam all the way through to the other end, which ends, I think, at I-40 or something like that. But uh, doing the entire 70 miles next month. Going to take six or seven days, kind of depends on what I'm doing it. I'm not trying to rush it. Just take my time, knock out anywhere from, I think I planned seven to 12 or 13 miles a day. Knock the whole thing out, have a good time. So like I said, we'll start in Fontana Dam and we're gonna work our way up all the way through, up to Klingman's Dome and then all the way back down to the end. So that is the trip for next month. So next week there won't be a video because I'm actually gonna be out camping next week. But then the week after that, I'll have a shakedown of all the gear that I'm gonna be taking on this trip. So it'll be a lot of fun. Other than that, thanks. Discovering in Color, thanks for watching and see you on the trail.